Welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM 1220 KHDS. And remember, our goal is always to guide you to personal and financial wealth. All right, so you're home for the holidays of the Don and Gino Show. That's right, we're heading into the holidays, and we'd love you to check out our uh, webpage, our YouTube channel, and all this great information. For nine years, we've been collecting thousands of videos and interviews just for you at donandgino.com. And today, we have one of our top uh, guests who's been on our show, I don't know, probably three dozen times with great topics. And now we're heading into the holidays. And why I say home for the holidays, I like the topic. <laughs> we have Miles McNamara with Comfort Keepers in Home Care. And we're going to talk about something that's really pertinent and timely during the holidays, especially now that you're going to be spending time with family, especially your parents. And Miles, you brought up some really interesting topics in regard to that. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we only get to see our family once a year or maybe twice a year. And, and the most frequent times families come together is for Thanksgiving. So maybe that's the first time now you've seen your parents in a year. Maybe last year you had a meeting or something you missed that was maybe it's been two years since you physically laid eyes on your parents. Uh, and parents are very good at being very superficial on the phone. How's the weather? How's the kids? Mm -hmm. You know, not necessarily even calling anyone by name anymore. And you, you don't really pick that up. Right. But, but now you get home for the holidays and the first time you've laid eyes on your parents in who knows how long. They've lost weight. They are disheveled. The house is a mess. When you were growing up, it was always impeccable. It's like, okay, you know, danger, Well, Robinson, danger, mm -hmm. because obviously there's some sort of issue going on cognitively or whatever. So basically the bottom line is when you come together for the holidays, pay attention. Again, I, I've mentioned it before, don't be the bull in a china shop. Just start observing. You know, look around the house. Has mom and dad got a little odor to them because they're not showering or bathing as often as they should? Mm -hmm. uh, is their hair not combed? Mom used to always be the princess, but now she's a little, you know, whatever. Uh, she's forgetting the kids' names. About before. Yeah, well, she had talked about, you had talked about before things like looking in the refrigerator. Right, I was just going to say that. You yes. caught me right between breaths because, <laughs> you know, open, is, there, is there spoiled food in the refrigerator? Is there, is there only like a beer and a, you know, bagel in there. What's uh, wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You know, Breakfast of champions. Yeah, but it was good um, for college, but now, you yeah, know, so, play, so just, play. and this is something that I always recommend to people is when you go to the store, when you go out, let mom or dad drive. I mean, if they're, mm. how, how easy is it when you're going, I'm, I'm, I'm driving, and you jump in the car and away you go. Right, so if you're going someplace and mom and dad are still driving, mm -hmm. maybe again, being that observant Sherlock Holmes, are there a few dents and scratches on the car? Are there like, where that, you know, and, but let them drive to the market. You know, Mom, I'll tell you, man, the last two years my grandpa was driving, we were all like, you can't drive anymore. And he's like, I'm fine. And I'm like, oh, no, we don't want you driving anymore. Yeah. Right? I don't want to yeah. be a passenger anymore. And the thing is, is don't make it obvious. Say, Mom, drive. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take some notes. <laughs> you know, just, just come, up, come up for a reason that you want Mom to drive. That's you know, funny. you're not feeling whatever. And just be observant. Because there are, and, and if you've had that talk and you know the biggest obstacle is taking the keys. Once you take those keys from your parents, you've just stripped them of their independence, of doing what they want when they want. So if it gets to a point where you have to, you can actually make an anonymous tip to the DMV so that they will contact them for another test. Of, or I can't, uh, I don't know specifically cool. yeah. how they, they couch it, but uh, if you see a true danger and, and the talk with mom and dad about killing or harming themselves or others isn't getting any traction, Something I tell my, my adult kid clients all the time is when the pendulum swings and it's time to parent your parents, it's the most difficult transition you'll ever have. And you, again, I've talked it about a hundred times, you've got to maintain the dignity and respect and what have you. But there comes a point in our life where mom and dad no longer have the final say. A lot of times I'll hear, well, you know, we really need you guys, but mom just won't have it. All right, well, let's have a chat about that because mom no longer has the final say because she's going to end up hurting herself. Mm -hmm. She's going to end up in the hospital. So even dad's been our hero our entire life. Dad's not making the most wise decisions anymore because, again, they're proud. They're independent. Leave me alone. I don't want to be a burden. But uh, at some point in that circle of life that we've talked about, mom or dad no longer have the final say, unfortunately. And you've got to make sure that you don't walk away because dad said no. 
and and the the results are are disastrous. You know, you brought up an important uh, topic because you're talking about have them drive and see if they're still very capable to drive. On the way here, I almost got taken out by a grandma elderly. I'm seeing she had no clue, barely can see over the wheel, and almost took out three or four cars. Right. It, the, the same thought concept has to be the Don same. Don has as this problem every time we get in the car. Oh, something always happens to him. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> point was is that it was pretty apparent that this particular uh, elderly woman barely could drive. Yeah. It took her forever to get around. So it, it was cause of havoc. Let's say the bottom line is is you have a responsibility as their children is to make sure that they're okay to drive because they can hurt somebody. It's no different than letting a friend take off after having too many drinks. I was just going to say that. Take it's, off it's, and you're okay with letting them drive? No, you won't let them drive drunk. You can't. I mean, this lady should not be behind the wheel, and I couldn't even catch her in time <laughs> to look at her license plate and say, hey, DMV needs to be checking yeah. out this lady. Because unfortunately, there's a lot of times DMV just sends you a renewal license. I yeah, mean, sure. I, I've had that happen. Yeah. Like, yeah, this person hasn't had a ticket in years. and yeah. yeah. You know, a measure of having tickets or not having tickets isn't necessarily a measure of being a good driver or Especially not. Especially after, after a certain age, they should just automatically have you come in. Yeah. Well, and then sometimes they do, and then all you have to do is the written, though. Like my grandpa, all he had to do was the written. As yeah. long as he's smart enough to pass a written test, that doesn't mean he could drive. But circling back to what Don said, we as the adult children have to take up that slack because we know how government and county agencies work. We know how you know the DMV works. So they're they're not going to go over and above. So we've got to make sure that next time they go to the DMV that we, you know, however we anonymously let them know or or they need to have the physical well, remember, driving the DMV test. only finds out because something bad happened. But not if you're proactive. Like right. I said, they have a tip line that you can call and and say. I want to report, and if you have the license plate number, but, but again, let's assume for a moment it's your own parents, right. you know, and you don't want to have that dynamic of turning your parents in, so you're going to alert the DMV, and your physicians too, the doctors a lot of times, they, you know, they'll do it with trepidation because they don't want to get in that mix, but right. the doctors can, can submit something to the DMV for you as well, uh, but don't turn your back on it because you're, like you said, friends don't let friends drive drunk. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you see a danger and you just let it go, it's on you. All right, so. Is it that cheery? <laughs> yeah. Great message. Woo! Actually, it's a great message. It is super this important. Is, this is super important. And we just wanted to make you aware of it. During the holidays, this is a great time to actually pay more attention. I would be just as guilty, so happy to see my parents enjoying the fun, you know, wrangling the kids, you're just distracted as well. But now you might pay a little bit more attention to how uh, mom and dad are doing to make sure that you're there for them as they were for you. Because think about when you run in the house, you're like, mom, sit down, I'll cook dinner, Do I'll it. run to the store, I'll, I'll get that mom. And you do everything for your parents and they're sitting there in a lot of peril and you have no idea because you haven't paid attention. Right. So step back. Be observant. Yeah, the speed at which we move too, right? Because they've slowed down yeah. and we're still going at full speed. Everything's at full speed. Kids, boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you don't pay attention. So you, I think, you know, it's important. And we've dealt with it with Grandma. We saw the decline. We saw we saw the signs, you know. And here's one. Uh, my Grandma used to be like the big cook for the whole family. And she stopped cooking. I was like, why would you stop cooking? All you've done is cook your whole life. That yeah. was your That was your role. And so that tells you something's wrong. That's, That's what we'll know yeah. if Gino's done. If I stop <laughs> barbecuing, yeah. yeah. If I stop barbecuing, yeah, something's definitely <laughs> wrong. <laughs> and if I stop drinking, something's very wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you, Miles, for another great topic. Really always my pleasure. It. I always talk about get... such fun things, don't I? I know, it's real. It's real. It's real. Yeah. Uh, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, you can go to comfortkeepers.com, or uh, they can call me at 661-287-4200. Or shoot me an email, miles with a Y at comfortkeepers.com. All right. Great. Thank you for uh, coming home for the holidays on the Don and Gino Show. Again, you can always find out more by going to donandgino.com. Subscribe at our YouTube channel.